This one's going to be a weird one because it's actually, possibly, am I actually going to say this? Giving credibility to Kellyanne Conway and the covert microwave allegations. So I was watching uh, 60 Minutes, the US version of 60 Minutes. They were talking about an update when it came to Havana syndrome. And for anyone who isn't aware of what Havana syndrome, it started off at the American Embassy in Cuba. Um, and American Embassy staff, this was in around about 2016, started to begin complaining about um, certain types of symptoms, that are ringing in the ears, sharp pain in the ears, fogginess, um, memory lapses, um, dizziness, nausea, all kinds of things, uh, pain as well. And um, some of this actually took on quite serious symptoms uh, and progressed as well. There are some people who are still struggling with inner ear issues or balance issues and um, migraines and things like that. Anyway, the US government has been really strange about this because there was an investigation they believe that perhaps it was some kind of sonar weapon or microwave technology. And that's the connection, you see. But the US government doesn't seem to want to officially recognize this. Now, there was an earlier incident. I don't recall exactly where it was, but I remember hearing about it on this 60 Minutes um, episode, which is a recent episode that aired in the US. I happened to see it in my news feed on YouTube. So you can find it there. And I clicked on it. It was really fascinating. It's about a 25, 26 minute episode. They said that there was an incident somewhere in 2014, but I don't know the details of that. There have now been incidents in Washington um, around the White House area, also in other areas where either the president or vice president have been visiting at the time. I think there was a NATO summit or a UN summit or something like that and Kamala Harris was attending and there was actually somebody from the American convoy um, or government convoy that was struck down by this ailment at the time. There was also embassy staff whose um, uh, spouses were attacked by whatever this weapon is in their own homes and strangely it happened a few times to people while they were doing the laundry in their laundry room. I don't know why, perhaps it's because the laundry doors may have been made of glass and it was easy, but it seems as though it's um, coinciding with certain individuals of Russian descent who are known covert agents um, living in America or elsewhere in the world. Really fascinating, but there was something there about the microwave technology and it got me wondering, this is kind of a little bit off the wall, it got me wondering about a comment that Kellyanne Conway mentioned that people made a lot of fun of. She said that microwaves can be converted and used for spyware. And everyone assumed, I think she was talking about them having cameras in them. And I did a search on the internet about Kellyanne Conway's uh, reference to the microwave spyware. And all of these people in the past, after hearing that, have been asking, you know, all of the questioning, like Quora and other types of questioning sites, is it possible for microwaves to have cameras? Do they have cameras and things like that? And all of these um, repair guys and people who are experts in electronics saying, look, I've pulled my microwave apart completely. There is no camera in there and things like that. So she really did freak a few people out. However, um, I wonder if she, that was a slip of the tongue by her. And I'm wondering whether or not there actually was something related to microwave technology that she had become aware of because she was an advisor in the White House. So I want to do a reading about that. She is considering going back and working for a Trump presidency if he happens to win um, this 2024 election. I certainly hope he doesn't. That's just what we need. More Donald Trump and Kellyanne Conway on the airways 24-7. But I'm curious about this particular issue. Was this a slip of the tongue? Was she actually aware? Because these attacks began, they kind of originated in 2016 and were pri quite prominent 
attacks taking place against U.S. personnel and their families during the Trump presidency. Now, what the 60 Minutes show has um, stated is that there is now some reasonably credible evidence that it was an attack, that it is a weapon that has been developed by Russia and is being utilized by Russia and that they're kind of testing it. Now, it has to be done in person in a way. So there has to be an, a, an agent working on behalf of Russia somewhere in the vicinity at the time. And there have been some examples like I said, of an agent being identified as having been in a car outside the home at around about the time that um, the, the victims that lived in that home were present. Um, this is happening. It's quite prevalent. But I want to know, I want to know about the Kellyanne Conway connection. Is there a connection? Let's have a look here. Because what she said was so bizarre but if it's based on a grain of something, that could be why it was slipped, why she slipped and said it in the way that she did. Okay, so we have the signifier and the challenge card. Conscious thoughts. Subconscious thoughts. The past, that's for sure. And then this, I think, important aspect of the reading, I think. So the signifier is the King of Cups, and it's challenged by the Page of Swords in reverse. The King of Cups is a gentle, friendly, compassionate king. And, and so this is a leader who, who leads with the heart. They can be trusted they're trustworthy and they have the best interests generally of others in mind and so they have a compassion for those around them the challenge here is the page of swords in reverse which is about malicious slander and gossip <laughs> um there's a personality disorder here and also a difficult childhood now the malicious slander and gossip yes i wonder about this king of cups now if if joe biden had been president at the time that this all started, I would have said that this was some kind of uh, effort towards him. However, he wasn't, so I'm not sure what to make of this. But want, wanting this malicious slander and gossip to be a challenge for a compassionate king, that does make sense. Let's just keep going. Okay. So on the conscious level, we've got the three of wands in reverse, and this is about having an investment anxiety, self-restriction and reluctance. Um, and there can also be a kind of a delay moving forward. So there's a sort of a desire for a new enterprise, but there's some kind of hiccups associated with it. Okay. And then in the subconscious, we have strength, and this is about leadership but it's you'll notice also that this woman here she looks very unassuming but she has subdued the lion and that's because she's not doing it in an overt strongman kind of way she's doing it softly in a covert kind of way now remember what i say about the cards being neutral we have to always remember that they're neutral so that we don't get sucked into these um, definitions that we've been accustomed to, you know, me saying. And often I talk about this being a card of positive leadership, but it can also be a way of quietly subduing the ferocious enemy. And so it may not necessarily be positive, even in reverse. We have some kind of issue with uh, this uh, attempt to move forward on a... Um, on an entrepreneurial new kind of enterprise and we have a softly softly kind of approach one thing that i remember from the 60 minutes uh, episode is that they were talking about how this could actually be testing it's kind of trial run to test one person at a time here and there with a view to potentially rolling it out um, in a larger area or something I don't know 
Okay, I'm still looking for that Kellyanne Conway connection and I may have just found it here. So in the past, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and this is the materialistic queen with unrealistic expectations. This is your gold diggery kind of female personality who wants all of the riches but isn't really the money manager. She's not really the person who's going to um, be sensible about money but she does want to acquire an awful lot of um, material stuff or have her material needs met and often um, she will go down the route of marrying someone for money or you know or doing things that are unsavory because they bring her an income but the unrealistic expectation is really part of this because when you go that way you're not really the owner of your own life you're kind of um, at the mercy of whoever it is that's paying your way and so that's something that um, that to keep in mind and then this important aspect of the reading is about being a free agent having no ties and having the world's sort of um, potential available to you so let's keep going because this is a very curious reading I originally was looking to see whether there is a connection there between this microwave spyware that Kellyanne Conway was talking about and then this Havana syndrome which may or may not, may not be through microwave or sonar technology just the fact when as soon as they mentioned microwave technology that's the very first thing I thought of was her and that slip that she'd made talking about the microwaves so let's keep going so the way we see ourselves or they see themselves the way others see them or the environment in which they sit or yep right okay hopes and fears okay and then the final answer okay right okay I have my answer but I had more than that too I think I would really urge you if you haven't seen the 60 minutes episode about Havana syndrome then do watch it because it's very very interesting it's a little bit concerning as well so it's not really for the faint-hearted because what is concerning predominantly is that the US government doesn't seem to be doing a lot about this at least not overtly not so that we can see there might be things happening in the background but it doesn't seem to be obvious to those who are investigating for the media anyway and who were conducting this 60 minutes episode so the way that we see it, the way that they see themselves here is the tower in reverse this is about slight setbacks illness and stress the way they're viewed by others or the environment in which they sit and you know I'm going to just say they but it's it's kind of an it I think is the ace of pentacles this is about corruption it's about uh, prosperity without happiness putting possessions ahead of people and things like that but corruption and um, and the acquisition of stuff against the welfare of others is interesting because it's in complete contrast with this king of cups and so if that is the signifier and this is the environment then we definitely have these two entities that are completely polar opposite of each other so they could be adversaries and that could be what it is that actually presented those cards because it doesn't necessarily mean that the enemy of this one is a perfectly compassionate entity but what it does do is it kind of demonstrates that they are at odds with each other and the cards have to find a way to express in a way that I would understand and I think that's what they've done uh, so then we have the two of wands in reverse and it's just reminded me that I actually I have given you a slightly incorrect definition for this card as well some of it was correct some of it was not but I'll go back and correct that so the two of wands in reverse is about um, an unexpected turn of events self-restriction and reluctance and a sense of kind of um, delay of some kind this card here is a little different than what I'd stated it is about an investment anxiety or about being blocked but also um, there's mistrust and distrust as well okay so just a couple of things that I had accidentally gotten wrong but we've sorted it now 
And then in the final outcome, we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is about um, pulling together tools and resources for a common goal or common prosperity. It can also be a conspiracy. So what this looks like is I think there is a connection. I think there is a connection. I think that with Kellyanne Conway and her microwave spyware kind of thing, it could be that she had a misunderstanding. She'd heard something being rattled around in conversation, probably. And she'd gotten it wrong or maybe deliberately wrong, maybe accidentally wrong. Maybe she'd misinterpreted or misstated. However, there does seem to be connection. And so what these cards look like is we have these two adversaries. We've got one that is that is presented here as being corrupt, as having no regard for people and um, just seeking prosperity, basically seeking prosperity at the expense of people if necessary. And it's very um, almost sociopathic because this prosperity without happiness can be without any regard for compassion or emotion. OK, you see how it's in complete contrast with the King of Cups, which is a leadership card that's built on compassion towards people. Now, it doesn't mean if this is Russia, which is what's been implied by the 60 minutes, not implied, stated by the 60 minutes episode. And then we have the adversary, which is who is being attacked, is the American um, government personnel. Then it makes sense for them to appear in complete contrast definitions. However, it doesn't mean that America is the most compassionate place on Earth because we know that it's not. And... Um, However, it makes sense that these cards are here. OK, this slander and malicious gossip is related to the Kellyanne Conway statement because the 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 connection between her as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the past and the slander and malicious gossip is the mix up and the nastiness and all of the misinformation, everything associated and a kind of a disordered distortion associated with the incident. OK, and that's what the challenge here is, is that what she stated was bizarre. It was disregarded as being nonsense, like her alternative facts kind of statement. But there was a, an important thing missing there in the interpretation. And that's because we didn't know at the time and that it was really timely. Her mention of microwaves was very timely. And I think it's because there was very little, you know, information security in the in the um, executive branch during the time that Donald was president. And so chances are when he would get a security briefing about this um, Havana syndrome, which was taking place on his watch or which had been briefed uh, from the late Obama administration, because it did start in 2016. Yep. So um, he would have been privy to the updates and the continued briefing the information wasn't kept secure so it was probably being gossiped around all over the place all over the administration and it looks as though she's picked up on it and either misinterpreted or had mis misinformed or uh, uh, mis uh, directed the information in some way but it looks like it is connected so we have these adversaries we've got her mixed up in that we then have this um, slight setbacks in illness. So the illness is what comes from this technology. We also have this new enterprise element that is um, that has an investment anxiety, which I think the investment anxiety and the mistrust and the distrust, I think that might be related to um, and also a, a blockage there. I think that the government is aware there's like play. Um, there's a little game going going on between the countries. And I think when it comes to spying and all of these covert exercises that are taking place behind the scenes, often there's more that they're aware of than they disclose and they're doing more than they say. But they can't stamp down because if they stamp down, 
it looks obvious and then there's a retaliation. So everything that they do is very subtle. And we've got the subtle attacks and we've got the subtle management of that as well by preventing it from being worse than it is. And I think this is the interaction of spycraft taking place here. It's very nuanced, but I think that's what it is. We then have this um, subconscious, which is about the battle between um, the lion entity and then the other entity that wants to subdue it. Now, I after putting all the cards down, I can't really be sure who is the lion and who is the woman in this, because this is all part of the, the spy craft exercise. But we do have a softly, softly approach here of what could be quite a ferocious incident. Okay. And then, of course, we have the entity that is kind of creating this scenario. And then we have the woman who's kind of thrown her two bob in that has kind of used it um, in a slanderous kind of gossipy kind of misinformation way and has distorted the facts. And that's what appears here. So we can see that there's a connection. This is her in the past. And then here to show that th that there's a connection and the unrealistic expectation, I think, is reinforcement of the fact that she was kind of throwing herself into something that she didn't quite understand or wasn't quite accurate. But also this person is can be un, uh, disloyal to the concept of what they're supposed to be there for, because they're really when when the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, think the, it's not exactly a gold digger, but it's a woman who will um, soften her her ethics around being able to enrich herself or to have a comfortable materialistic life. And so that means that she may not necessarily be loyal to her boss, to her country, to a philosophy, to what she said yesterday, whatever it is that keeps, um, I don't know, that keeps paying her expensive hairdresser <laughs> is a good example, is probably good enough for her. And that was a, 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 a little remark in reference to another gold digger type personality. This hopes and fears element is the hope of attack, I think. This unexpected um, event and this uh, element of um, restriction and reluctance is, is the battle, is the hope and the fear element of trying to prevent. This is a continuation of the spycraft. So Russia, for example, if that's what, the, the theme is, because that's what the 60 Minutes theme was. If this is an attack by Russia, which it looks like it is, and by the way, the cards predicted this about, um, uh, gosh, well, when it first started, the cards have stated, I think I've done two or three readings on this subject in the past four years, and the cards uh, right from the beginning had mentioned that it was likely to be Russia anyway. Uh, but I don't think it takes a genius in tarot to figure that out. They are the number one adversary to the US anyway. And there is a malicious intent there, which is kind of sitting in this card as well, this um, element of malice. But this is to create an unexpected turn of events, which is the, the attack. But it's also the, the attempt to prevent the attack, which is what the restriction and reluctance element is all about as well. Um, and then we have here the... Um, the final outcome, which would indicate that Russia is not acting alone um, and that there's a conspiracy. However, we do have also the question of some of these people who enter into office, including some president. I don't say presidents plural because there's only one of them that is currently uh, being indicted on 80 something. Or I think there were 91 charges, but I think they've been reduced to 88 now. There's only one president in history who's actually, and some of it has been espionage related and everything. It could be that there was an awareness of this or a, um, a softening towards it. And that could be the reason for the card. Um, this important aspect of the reading, I think, is, is really just about um, kind of having free reign and not being constrained. And this particular type of technology 
is very difficult to trace because a person can just show up in a car and I don't know what they're doing in that car, park outside a house, push a button, either from the car or from the back garden or wherever they are, and cause this horrible um, physical thing to be taking place to a person that they don't know. And so I think that that's the freedom of the mechanism, the freedom of the actual style of attack. But this would indicate that there is a... Um, there's a conspiracy element to it too, which means that there may have been people actually within the executive branch at a certain point in time who were pretty favorable towards this or were not going to stand in the way of it. I know that it sounds bonkers, but it looks as though it is a connection. There's a connection there. There's a connection there between that really off the wall statement that Kellyanne Conway made back in the day. And I'll see if I can find that original uh, clip or something to stick to the end of this video. It was ages ago, so I may have trouble finding it. But if I can find it, I'll stick it on the end of this video because it's a news item. So I don't think YouTube will complain just a few seconds. And if not, then I will um, put up some kind of um, info from the news that I've been able to find online anyway. But um, just in summary, Kellyanne Conway did make this unexpected off the wall comment about there being some form of spyware inside microwaves. And then this Havana syndrome technology was taking place at the same time. And it appears from the cards that it was the same thing. And that somehow the message, surprise, surprise, that Kellyanne delivered um, was a distortion. I hope she never gets a chance to enter back into government. Yeah, definitely no asset. No asset there. That's it. This is Ellie Dreams uh, Down Under. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and comment. And if you want to support, feel free to become a patron. You get ad-free content. And I'm trying to get some additional... You also get um, early release on some of the Human Ascension with Ellie extra bonus stuff. And also I'm trying to actually um, get greater access to the Human Ascension with Ellie um, content as well on Patreon. So if you are a member, then you will be in on that. Right. And that's all there is. Thanks so much for watching. I love knowing you're here and I'll see you in my dreams. Bye. Do you know, do you know whether Trump Tower was wiretapped? What I can say is there are many ways to surveil each other now, unfortunately. Do you believe uh, there was that a, was... There was an article this week that talked about how you can surveil someone through their phones, through their, uh, certainly through their television sets, uh, any number of different ways, and microwaves that turn into cameras, etc. So we know that that is just a fact of, of modern sure. life.